Hi, I'm Chris Lubkeman. Been carving whittling for a long, long time, many, many years, actually decades. Uh, and I actually have never gotten tired of it. What I'm going to do now is we're going to do an owl. And it's a totally different uh, way of carving. It's a, basically chip carving. Okay, and I'm going to use just a small piece of wood, like a little cylinder. This happens to be uh, birch, but I'm going to use a piece of linden, and I'm going to carve an owl, and we'll go start to finish, uh, and we'll have an owl when we're done. Uh, the first owl I ever saw done was done from a block of wood, and I said, I wonder if this can be transferred to a branch, and so... We tried it and it seemed to work. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to make, it's basically chip carving. This is different from the most of the carving I do, uh, which is, you know, slicing. This is mostly taking out chips of wood. Okay, there's one chip there. That's going to be, this is going to be the top of the owl, the bottom of the owl. Now over here, we're going to do the same thing to another similar chip. Coming out of the side. And another one on this side. So we do three. Okay, so we have three little chips around the, the top. Now we're going to do mirror images on the bottom. The instructions for the owl are in two of my books. A big book of little fun and uh, this, uh, the Victorian Axis Army Knife Whittling book, and it, you get all the steps on how to do the owl. Okay, now we're going to do a little cut down on this middle one. Same thing on this one here. And same thing here. Now we're going to leave a little teeny bit of bark here for the uh, for the owl's beak. I'm just going to cut like this. Leave that little bit of bark there. And then make a more slanted cut. Okay. Now, uh, okay, let's take this off here, this little, these two little triangles. There. Now let's come to the back and write, this, uh, we had one, two, three chip carvings here. Now we're gonna go from about the middle the back and we're going to go straight up okay now let's angle it toward the front more all right now we're going to come in a little bit like this. A little bit like this. Now these aren't the owl's ears, but they're uh, some kind of decoration he has. His ears are somewhere else. So if you see a great horned owl, don't think that those big things are his ears. Okay, now I'm going to come in here a little bit. There, and now his beak, leave a little bit of bark, and I'm going to come out and just take a little swatch out of the front here.
Okay, so there we have, the, now we don't have his eyes. Now normally I do his eyes with a wood burner. Two, two eyes right there, and I do his little feet down here. Uh, let me open this up a little bit more, and then I'll do three little lines for his feet. But to do the tail, let's go around here and make a little teeny groove. And then bring this down here. And then let's divide his tail feathers. Okay, that'll. There, and let's do it in four. I don't know how many tail feathers owls have, but mine usually have three or four. Every once in a while, just two. I haven't had any complaints from the owl union yet, so as long as it looks sort of like an owl, they, they approve. Okay. Okay, now there's his tail back there, and his eyes would be up there if we have a pencil, or we could also do that with a pencil, but there's the basic shape of the owl. And this is our little owl that's, that's done. I don't have his eyes or feet in yet, but, uh, well, I, you know, I could do this with a wood burner, but let me just try something with a ballpoint pen here. Let me see if I can give him eyes with a ballpoint pen. Yeah, that's at least more or less where his eyes should be. And uh, we, we can fine tune that and give him better eyes later. And if you want to put his little uh, claws or little feet, then you just put three little lines down here and three little lines down there. And so that's the owl. Here's another one that's, that's done. And now this one I carved the owl and he's on a stump. So uh, this, you can make uh, an owl on a longer piece of wood and then put him on a stump and uh, I've even had one of these little side branches out this way.